A warm welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taste of whiskey.com. And today we have the Nagneen, well, one of its bottles here on my cask. The Nagneen is quite a new distillery. It was founded in 2017 and resides on a peninsula on the west coast of the Scottish mainland. And I forget the name of this peninsula because I haven't been there, but my son visited the distillery and uh, took a wonderful tour, which you can follow, and had an, uh, an interview there. And this is a small distillery, and uh, it's in the east of Isle of Mull, and the peninsula is named Morvern. And, and this Morvern this, uh, peninsula, I think it's the region, or the second last region with inhabitants in Scotland, so it's really remote. And uh, that was a farm in former times. And then they started to say, well, there's place for a distillery and we're a farm, uh, we have the ingredients. And then they said, well, if we're doing this, we're doing it completely uh, ecologically. And so this is organic, uh, the malt used in it, uh, the energy used for it is uh, renewable and uh, the bottle is 100% uh, recycling glass. This you can see the tube on the inside. It's really, you see it's recycled material. So everything they try to, uh, well, do in, well, together with nature, not to disturb uh, anything more than they have to. Uh, so this is called uh, organic. And uh, there is a second bottling uh, in our shop on whiskey.com. Have a look at that. And uh, this one is prized, uh, I think, 59.90 euros. And well, when you reside somewhere <laughs> in the world, uh, it might be in the same region. So this bottle I'm tasting here is the batch number BU06. 2022. It's 46% ABV and of course unchill filtered and uncolored. And the only difference between those other bottles is you see the batch number on this bandrol around uh, the top of the bottle, the neck of the bottle. And if you look very carefully to the bottle, you can see a light greenish tone in the glass. And this shows that this is recycling glass. Recycling glass, it's very, very difficult uh, to get it really colorless, like brand new fresh glass. Uh, but I think it doesn't matter if it has a lightly greeny touch. You have these uh, green ornaments on the bottle. I think it fits very well. Um, this is a, I think, the second bottling uh, we have, and uh, it has reunited casks. So these STR casks, safe, toasted, and recharred casks from uh, Barrick wine casks. And the whiskey from those casks is 55%, and 43% is ex bourbon casks. And uh, there is a small amount, 2% of Oloroso cask now in these new bottles. So we should see. Oh yeah, <laughs> it looks so big, but they preserve cork. <laughs> it's just a small one. Oh, it smells very, very fruity. Very good. So here we go. This is the front. Yeah, very, very fruity. This is, well, the distillery character. A lot of fruits in it. And those are yellow, fresh, young fruits. Citrus, peaches, apricot. The back, there is some vanilla, some caramel on those fresh casks. Yeah, cheers. Friendly, gentle on the tongue, and then wow, those recharged car casks are hitting my tongue. There's uh, spiciness in the aftertaste. This is incredible. This is hefty. Yeah, this 
had a lot to do with oak. So, yeah, they matured it. So you feel the oak. It's really intense. Even showing no age statement might be uh, 22 and this production started in 2017. So it should be fi 15, uh, five years old, 2017 up to 2022. Uh, but you feel these intense casks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so 55% of these rejuvenated casks is like fresh casks. This gives quite an, yeah, a spicy freight with it. Yeah, oh, this is hefty. But now it's gone. It's warm, broad on the tongue. So this is not sharpness with, uh, which resides in your mouth. This is spiciness going up and down your tongue. Now, friendly. You still feel the oak, but it's not that disturbing. Yeah, very good, very natural. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come.